So tell me a little bit more about these concerns. Are they really serious? Well, it's fair to say there have been concerns raised for both auditors and independent examiners because reporting matters of material significance is certainly not easy. Uh, new guidance has been issued in the last couple of years uh, by the Charity Commission and other charity regulators that provides guidance for auditors and independent examiners when they should report such matters. Uh, and this guidance highlighted two new areas that auditors and independent examiners must consider. First of all, if they modify their opinions, uh, but also where they have concerns where charities have inadequate processes in relation to conflicts of interest or related party transactions. Uh, and that, that's, those are new areas and things that we have to, have to grapple with. Uh, and the other thing is the Charity Commission has changed its approach to monitoring uh, auditors and independent examiners' compliance with those duties and responsibilities and their performance in doing so. And I think that particularly we have to reflect on the fact that the Charity Commission has now said that they will report auditors and independent examiners to their regulators if they perceive that they are not fulfilling those duties and responsibilities. And I think what that means is that auditors may have concerns about how they fulfil those duties, but also the relationship they have with their clients as well. Often the requirement to report matters of material significance is really clear. Something has happened that both trustees and, and, and executives of charities would agree with the scrutineer, uh, the auditor or the independent examiner. Uh, maybe there's been an unfortunate fraud or um, terrorism, money laundering, those sorts of issues, and the matters are really clear. But often the matters aren't clear, uh, and it requires uh, some judgment to be expressed, and professional judgment sometimes is hard in this area. Uh, The Charity Commission's guidance that they issued uh, states that where auditors have uh, any doubts, they should still report. So that, that thing about when in doubt report potentially raises uh, an area of conflict. If, uh, if the views of the auditor and independent examiner don't align with their clients, then you may end up with some conflict between the two. I think the feeling is that uh, everyone's improving. Um, the Charity Commission was worried that, uh, about the level of reporting and that has increased. Uh, so there are more reports being made and that certainly is reassuring the Charity Commission that auditors and independent examiners are taking their responsibilities seriously. Uh, but there still remains some, some uh, um, concern about the clarity of when you should report. So perhaps a little bit more to do, but we're heading in the right direction. Thank you very much.